Hi ho! <laughs> so since it is fall again, I thought it would be really fun to make some pumpkin spice latte. Of course, without any added sugar, because I believe that these things can taste really great without any added sugar as well. I think this recipe will be very quick and very easy, so let's just jump into it. So the first thing that we need is some pumpkin puree. Last week I went to the market and got some pumpkins and I made some puree out of them which I froze, but you can use store-bought frozen pumpkins as well and store-bought pumpkin puree, but make sure that it only has pumpkins in it and nothing else. I think that you don't need more than one tablespoon for one cup of pumpkin spice latte. So, tablespoon, a pan. So I have the pumpkin in the pan and I'm heating it up. But while that is happening, I'm gonna prepare all the spices and the milk. I thought that since I really want to make this a smooth pumpkin spice latte, I don't want it to have any pumpkin chunks possibly, I would use a food processor. You can obviously just heat the whole thing together in a pan and just use the spices, but I'd like to put it in the food processor first and then heat it up on the stove. So the spices that are traditionally put into a pumpkin spice latte are cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg and additionally they usually put some cloves in as well. I don't have ground cloves unfortunately but it is not a problem if you don't have cloves you can work with these spices as well and they will be great. So these are the spices what you also need is some milk and either coffee or you can use cocoa as well <laughs> which I will do. So this will be really a pumpkin spice cocoa. This will be the cocoa that I am going to use. The reason why I'm showing you this recipe is, by the way, because I really love the concept of these seasonal drinks. Last year, around Christmas, I made gingerbread latte without any added sugar, but I always thought that it is such a pity that these drinks are so sugary and you cannot drink them every day or more frequently than once a year because they are really sugary and they are so filling that you can have them instead of a meal. But I think that if you make these without sugar, then they can be really a part of a balanced diet and you don't have to worry about it being sugary you can just enjoy the festive fun which is always a benefit i was talking so much that the pumpkin is ready now <laughs> see it's not frozen anymore which is great that's what we want so i am making two servings therefore i am putting in two tablespoons of pumpkins after that i will put in some cinnamon what i usually do is i put one teaspoon into one serving, so I am just using this big tablespoon to put in one tablespoon of cinnamon, like this. Then I just drizzle in a little bit of nutmeg. A really small amount of ginger can go in. What I also like doing is just add the cocoa <laughs> at this point so that everything is really smooth. That is what I'm going to do now. The amount of cocoa that you are putting in really depends on how much you want this to be chocolatey or not. I think you can make it work with one teaspoon of cocoa for one serving, but if you really want to make it more indulgent, then two teaspoons is perfectly fine as well. If you still like things to be more on the sweeter side, or if you are preparing this for someone who likes things to be sweeter, then you can add some maple syrup or some honey as well. But what I recommend for you is to try this without any added sugar first, because I think you can be really surprised how sweet milk actually is and how sweet milk actually can make things. Of course, that also depends on what kind of milk you are putting into this. Okay, I am talking way too much in this video, so <laughs> I'm just gonna put in the cocoa. And then you can add some milk. No matter how many servings you are preparing, first start with only one cup of milk 
with one cup of milk. This way you will be able to make a smooth paste. So the mixture is ready. Unfortunately, I don't have a festive mug, so I am using this white one instead. In case you don't remember, we are still working with this really small kitchen here in Paris. So that is why we don't have any festive little mugs. But I only put one cup of milk into this. Let's remember that because I am making two servings and therefore I will need to add an additional cup of milk into the pan and just put this in and then we can heat it up together. So the process is basically the same if you are using coffee and by the way I'm really sensitive to caffeine so that is why I always used caffeine free coffee. The process is basically the same you just have a small amount of coffee that you are putting into this mixture and then you can heat those up together or you can even add some water if you don't want to use that much milk and you can always choose what kind of milk you are using. So we are ready. You can additionally use some toppings. For example, you can make whipped cream as well, completely added sugar free. I have another video where I'm showing you how to do that. But otherwise, this is the pumpkin spice latte. Oh, it is really hot and it smells really nice. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a sip of this. <laughs> it is really good. What I really like about these drinks that you can make at the sugar free is that they really taste amazing. They really substitute really sugary drink. So I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching and have a very nice crispy autumn day. <sighs>